This is code.org, and we are making a donut. Woohoo! All right, let's see what we have here. The donut class represents a donut, <laughs> shocking, uh, that is available at the Project Mercury Pastries food truck. Getting started. Import. Yep. So we got to hit backpack and dessert and import. If you're missing this, you might forgot have forgotten to save it in lesson or commit it in lesson four, but you can always click there and create the file yourself. All right, but we have it. Refactor the donut class to be a subclass of dessert. Okay, cool. So a subclass is, by its uh, by very definition, it is built on top of another class, right? So a subclass you could think of, you could think of like, well, dessert and donut. Um, it's used in video games too. So maybe you're playing a fighting game, for instance, and you have the option to be a knight um a archer or a wizard right so in that game the class would likely be you know fighter right and then the subclass because you know every fighter would need help for instance but maybe the wizard has a, i don't know they have an amount of magic and so the class would be fighter and then there would be a subclass for the wizard and maybe there's a subclass for knight because that class has what type of sword the knight holds so on and so forth it's one thing built on top of another so donut is built on top of dessert the way we tell the computer to do that and we've seen this a few times well a bunch of times is donut is going to extend or extends dessert so donut has everything dessert has but also, we're going to add a few more things, right? We're going to throw in some extras. So that being said, now that we're extending dessert, the first thing I want to check is that there's no duplicated values here. So let me go over to dessert. And, oh, right away. Notice how dessert has flavor and price? Well, since at this point, donut's going to be sitting on top of dessert, donut now has flavor and price. So we don't need these two things right here. Because they're already there. Since we're extending dessert, they already exist. We can't see them in this class itself. But I promise you, when the computer loads all this, they are right there with Donut already. So with that being said, doo -doo 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 -doo, whoop, and right away, notice flavor and price. We're also not going to be needing this. And the reason we're not going to need that is because right here, flavor and price. We deleted those variables from this. We need to delete these assignments from the default constructor, right? The constructor with no parameters. Now let's keep going. Oh, and here we are again. Flavor and price. We deleted these, so these gotta go. However, right, we do need to set them. We still need to assign those values. If they want to put in a new flavor and a new price when creating this, we need them to be able to change the dessert class. Well, how do we reference a extended class? How do we reference the parent class? We've seen this. It's super. So what the computer sees here is says, okay, we're going to create donut. We have all these param We have all these parameters. We have arguments going in here and super. Well, what on earth is super? And the computer has to start hunting. What's above me? What super, huh? Mm, smack. Oh, it extends. Okay. So what's above this is dessert. And the computer then knows that super really just means dessert. So what we can do now is we can do new flavor and new price. Because now the computer will say super, ooh, oh, dessert, smack. Okay, up, dessert, nope, no parameters, dessert. Yep, we do have a flavor and a price, this one. And we can change up the flavor and the price. Let's go ahead and instantiate all this, test it out. Fun part. Okay, right, let's do donut equals what? Ooh, no, sprinkle, sprinkles, springs. Well, that's the hardest thing I've ever done. My donut's name is Sprinkles. You're welcome. New donut, and then we need a flavor. Oh, is sprinkles a funfetti? Is that copyrighted? I don't know. Funfetti? Is that how you spell that? Yes, it is. Okay, funfetti, and... Uh, the price, I mean, donut should be cheap because we are kind. 65 cents. Uh, the I have no idea what the other stuff is, even though I just looked at it. Uh, new filling and new new sprinkles. Oh, and that's a Boolean. Okay. Uh, the filling will be, well, I guess, rainbow? No. Uh, my donut's named Yum, finally. The filling will be... Uh, 
chocolate. And then sprinkles will be uh, true. Duh. And boom. All right. Let's go ahead and hit run on this guy. We just don't want to see an error. That's really what we're looking out for. Whoop. And that's a problem. Chocolate. Oh, new filling. Oh. False. Sure. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the filling is a Boolean. Filling status. Okay, cool. Now what do we want to do? That is actually what we need. If you want to double check, you want to just make sure everything's running right. Okay, this is, we're good to go now, but I like to double check. So I'm just going to throw in here. Um, a, oh, that's JavaScript. This is Java. System out dot print. Print L in. And then I'm just going to print out the flavor just to double check we're getting it set. And I'll delete this app. Yep, victory. Cool. Bam, bam. And at this point, great idea to commit so we don't forget. Donut. Bit of detail. You add what you need. Make sure it makes sense. Commit. Awesome. Onward. We are good to go. Onward.